Thank you. Uh, Doug Maxwell from the Energy Clinic. I had a uh, question from a friend of mine the other day. Uh, interesting question because I don't hear it a lot. Was how to release the inside leg or the adductor muscles. Of course, there's a bunch of adductor muscles there. We've got brevis, uh, longus, we've got uh, magnus, which kind of turns into minimus, and gracilis down the bottom. It actually gets quite tender in there. Uh, a lot of people don't spend uh, a lot of time releasing this area. Uh, we spend a lot of time on quads, uh, ITB, vastus lateralis, of course, but forget about the inside. Now, it's really important. It's a stabilizing muscle. It'll help stabilize the trunk at the top. Uh, we'll also get flexion of the hip, adduction, of course, as the name suggests, adductors, and uh, even a little bit of flexion at the knee. So, a couple different tools I got here, just your standard PVC pipe and a, a harder ball. This is an indoor cricket ball. You can tape up a tennis ball, of course. Uh, but all we're going to do is just uh, hit that on the inside. So, remember when we're rolling, uh, what we don't want to do is go too fast all the time. Uh, so, we don't want to hide all those tender bits through speed. So, what I'll do is I'll warm that area up. I can go as fast as I like. But once that area is nice and warm, what I want to do is start slowing down. Now I can start pretty high up into the groin here. This is going to be your uh, adductor brevis and uh, longus in there. Uh, some people get reasonably tight in there. More people are going to be tight down closer to uh, magnus and gracilis. So wherever you're tight, you're just going to massage that area on the inside. So just like you do your uh, quads, uh, nice and slow. If you find a tight bit, sink on it and you can even lift that weight up resting onto that muscle. Uh, no right or wrongs here, just what works. Once I've released that area just with flat rolling, remember I only want to roll half uh, uh, rotation here, I don't want to go too long. Once I've done that, what I'm going to start is kneading that muscle through rotation. So a lot of the adductor muscles are medial rotators of the hip. So what I'm going to do is medially rotate that hip by lifting my heel in the air while at the same time kind of keeping my weight on the roller as I'm going forward and back and you'll find there's a nice little tight bits in there for most people. Once again, no rights or wrongs as to where you're going to place it, it's just wherever it's tight. Uh, I get pretty tight in there. Once we're in there as well, once I've got some elevation or inward uh, medial rotation of that hip, what I can do is also, just like we do with our quads, is start working that wag the tail and that will get into that. Uh, Priscilla's in particular, I'm probably even getting a bit of VMO uh, into the quads there. So I can spend a good three or four minutes. I can also uh, shark that muscle forward and back, either with a straight leg or a bent leg. So rolling, wagging, and then sharking. Three different methods you can use there. Once I've done that, what I can do is go a little bit more specific. Uh, and I can use the ball. So what I'm going to do is hit just on the inside of the knee where that gracilis will actually come down and attach to my tibia just down below there. And once I've got that position, what I can do is start just rolling circles. So it's a slight variation. Of course, I can do all the same methods that we did with that PVC pipe or the roller, whatever you have to use. But this is a little bit more specific to the ball where I can actually roll in a circle. And if I find a tight bit, same sort of thing. I can put a little bit more weight on there. I can start adding rotations and all the rest of it. Uh, it's very important that we look after our adductors. They're a big part of that, again, stabilization through the hip and also the trunk. Uh, and if we release that, you'll find that often there's less stress on the outside as well. Uh, any questions, give us a hoy. Otherwise, see you next time. Thank you very much.